So now we're in Canvas Workspace and we've saved the patterned panel and the blank panel. I'm going to select the pattern panel first and we've just got a little bit of work to do with this. Nothing too, nothing too taxing or anything like that, quite simple. So while we've got both of the pieces selected, bear with, <laughs> we're going to go to edit and we're going to group them together. So we've got one piece and then we can move it a little bit further into the mat just because it's easier to work on. Now we've done all the pattern panels at six inches, but of course they're all scalable. So that makes, that makes it really versatile when you're being creative with it. So the first thing we're going to do is punch all the waste out of here. And the way we do this is go to edit at the top and then drop down to process overlapped and we're going to divide it. And what that does, it's like it sends a big punch down and it punches that pattern through the square and leaves us with the waist and then what a graphic designer would describe as a compound path, which means that it sees the scan and cut then sees it the way that we see it. It doesn't see it as a panel of lace anymore, uh, as a pile rather, it sees it as a panel of lace. So you'll have to wait until that blue bar across the top ends because it's doing its, it's working hard. And then I'm going to pick up and I'm going to left click and drag away the pattern panel. And then you can see that I'm left with all this waste here. So I'm going to left click again and drag over to the right and then down and select all that in one go. And then I'm going to put that in the bin because I don't need that. Now you've got this panel. Now this is no longer bull, no longer bull, no longer ungroupable. You can't do anything with that now apart from what we're going to do next. So you could cut it, you could draw it, you could foil it, emboss it, etc. But you can't separate the pieces anymore because it sees it now as one panel, as one piece, one shape. So the next thing that we're going to do is bring in the panel that we're going to be working on. And this is ungrouped. So I'm going to tap off the screen and you've got the smaller inside piece, which I'm going to move away. And then I got the team to create an outward offset line already so that you don't have to do this. So I'm going to take this behind the pattern panel and this one I'm going to keep here. All right, so we're just going to work with the smallest one and you'll work with the smallest of all the shapes first. And I don't mean the smallest as in, you know, if you've got a little tiny rectangle versus a big rectangle. I mean the inside of the shape, the smallest one of that. So the next thing that I need to do is align the patterned panel and the shape. Okay, so I'm going to drag a box across both of them, go to edit and then go to align and we're going to align it centrally vertically. And then we're going to go back to edit and we're going to align them centrally horizontally. Now you can put this panel anywhere that you want inside that pattern. But if you're doing a box that has a lid and then a sides and then the side of a box, I like the pattern to all be in line with each other. So that's why I align them. Then I'm going to click off that and I'm going to grab just that shape. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go down to process overlap and I'm going to send, no, I'm not going to go to order, sorry. And then I'm going to send it to the back. I'm getting ahead of myself there. I'm getting excited because I want you to see what happens next. So I've now got the hexagon, uh, octagon with the pattern panel on top of it. All right. And it's really important. That part is crucial. If you don't send it to the back, you don't get the pattern inside that shape. So now I left click and select everything and then go to edit. And this time we're going to go to process overlapped, but we're going to go to remove overlapped and we're going to click on that. And then it's going to do its, its thing. And it doesn't really look like anything's happened, but you'll know it's working when that blue bar goes across the top. Then we're going to grab the outside panel. So we're going to left click and move that out of the way. And you now have that pattern inside that octagon. I love that. I think that's really cool. Now then, the next thing is to bring this one back in and we can just position it roughly and then we left click and drag a box around both of those and we do our alignment. So we go to edit and align centrally vertically and go to edit and align centrally horizontally. And then we go back to edit 
and we group it together. And now you have that pattern in a panel that will cut out of your cardstock and you can position that on top of your octagon box. And that could be any of the 30 panels that are on this USB. So it now means that you've got 30 boxes, 30 pattern panels, but you can put any pattern into any panel for any box, which actually gives you 900 options. So I hope, really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you get on simple, isn't it? Really, really simple to use Canvas Workspace when we break it down into bite-sized chunks and teach you what you need to know to do what we want you to do with it, which is get really creative. Okay, I'm going to go and get some more work done now. So I will see you all very soon.